Week number 32 of 260 Minutes is actually the second night of a double header. Uh, last night I was a company Monday night. This evening I am at Yuck Yucks Calgary, uh, part of that competition video that I posted earlier. I had a little bit more momentum going into the show uh, last night, I think. I was really pumped, but I'm kind of riding the wave off of a really good 260 last night. Hopefully it works. Um, I like the uh, the opening of tonight. Uh, I got a segue thing that I wrote today uh, just because it happened, and I hope it goes. And then the, uh, the closing uh, might be a little too gross and dirty, but we will have to see what happens. start today talking about the fact that I am uh, dating again. Uh, yes, a girl. <laughs> Sorry, I just have to always say that after every time I've said that to somebody. It's a weird knee-jerk reaction. It's a new thing for me, actually, uh, dating again. I don't do it very often. Uh, so much so that the other day, I, I'm not used to it yet, a friend looked at me right in the eyes and said, hey, what's the name of the girl you're dating? And my first instinct was to take a step to the side because I was interrupting her conversation with somebody else. I was like, oh, I shouldn't be here right now. Oh, it's me. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's weird. My only complaint about it uh, so far is that she is hurting my career very badly, uh, my career as a comedian, uh, because she has not been a crazy bitch. <laughs> that's kind of what you need to have. She's been <laughs> delightful, and there's nothing funny about that, really. I, re I wish there was some. I, like, all my life I've been listening to stand-ups talk about their girlfriends and wives, so I've had several moments in my head, I'm like, why aren't you yelling at me for being drunk right now? <laughs> oh, because you're drunk too. Okay, great. All right. <laughs> This is going well. I, uh, she has been delightful. Like one night, she, uh, she organized a surprise uh, date night for me. Uh, we watched The Prestige in her movie room. Awesome. We had 10 different kinds of candy. Awesome. And beer. Great. Opposite of comedy. <laughs> Nothing about that isn't fun is funny. In fact, at this point, some of you hate me right now. <laughs> you're like, oh, that jerk, he's happy. <laughs> it is, when, you're ha when you're happy, though, it is tough to write comedy. Like, you need to have a little bit of bitterness, a little bit of anger in you and she's just been too good. Like the last time I actually wrote a joke was last week when I stubbed my toe. I was like, oh fucking Ottomans, oh you bastards, no wonder you can't keep an empire. <laughs> I'm not saying it was a good joke, I'm just saying I wrote it. That's what happened. So now when I want to write comedy, I have to start hurting myself emotionally or physically. So next time I want to be creative, I'm just gonna like read YouTube comments or follow the Pope on Twitter. I find that people like polarize like when you're when you're feeling down on yourself they are always like the first to point out like oh oh well there's somebody worse off than you like if you're feeling sad they're like well that guy's sadder I'm glad they don't do that when you're happy you know like oh you're happy well look at this guy he's in shape and has a better looking wife yeah <laughs> you bet you're not that happy well no I'm sad now well there's somebody worse okay <laughs> you're a very supportive friend yeah. I actually have to stop holding the mic with my right hand right now. I, uh, it's hurting today for some reason, like right in this area. I think I have carpal tunnel. And I shouldn't have said that, because now all in your heads are just going like, masturbates, like that's all you're thinking. <laughs> Which is the worst double standard that men get, ever. Like if a woman is like, oh, I have carpal tunnel, you're like, oh, she's a very busy woman. She probably works all day and then raises kids and plays tennis. Guy does it, you're like, ah, fucking asshole. <laughs> Spending his time. Nobody, nobody, when I said that I had carpal tunnel, pictured me working hard in front of a computer. You, know, you pictured me in front of a computer hard, but not... Not working very much, so... Wow, this mic, holding the mic in my left hand is weird for me too, actually. It's like the stranger. I'm like, who's holding this mic? <laughs> I've decided this, I've been traveling uh, around for like corporate season into small towns uh, in Alberta and Saskatchewan and BC. I would like to uh, start it here tonight. We need to stop calling these towns buttfuck somewhere. <laughs> I don't think it applies, I don't think it works, it is the worst thing ever. And frankly, I've been to these towns, it gives a bad name to buttfucking. <laughs> it's this rare, beautiful thing like the Northern Lights, and you go to this town, there's nothing rare or beautiful about them. Except occasionally, ironically, the Northern Lights. They have those every now and again. And also, I'm kind of confused about who this insults. Like, are you just calling the entire town gay? Like, that's not kosher, that's not cool. If you, if you think an entire town is gay, and you think gay is an insult, you should probably live in one of these places. It's so bad. More accurate names, in my experience, having toured around, would be like, uh, would be like Sheepfuck Alberta. 
or Comedian Punch BC. <laughs> no Cell Signal Saskatchewan. Those are all much better names. <laughs> well, another one of the popular like, changes of it is actually uh, you're in the middle of but fuck nowhere. But that's, that, that doesn't work, because in order to butt fuck, you have to be right in the middle of somewhere. Like, like, like if you're off the middle in that case, you just have bad aim and a waste of a Saturday. <laughs> that's it for me. Thanks very much. <laughs> exact same fucking thing. Yes. I don't want him to know that I have this. He just slammed down. I've silenced keys before. It's like, fuck, he's going to think that's toonies. Well, that was two nights in a row of a pretty good 260 minutes. I think I preferred last night. I uh, was just a bit more relaxed. Uh, tonight, certainly, though, I did warm up to it when I got the first big laugh there a few uh, seconds in. Uh, so I got kind of got a better reaction from that point onward. Uh, I know it's a little bit cruder tonight, but I think some of that stuff can uh, stick around, and I'm looking forward to trying again. I uh, did do the double header this week because uh, for the next week I cannot do a 260 minutes, so I got ahead, uh, so I'm not uh, falling behind on the project or something I do not want to do. I'm backstage managing a touring show uh, in between Christmas and New Year's, so I will be unavailable to do the sets, but uh, I will be back on the first weekend of January in 2013, recording one at one of my favorite spots to perform comedy in all the country, Heckler's Victoria.